Natural pigments are becoming more and more valuable as society moves towards green, sustainable technologies. But how and why do we extract them from algae? Microalgae exist in water bodies and soil across the globe, only visible under the microscope. They are photosynthetic, using carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to create glucose and oxygen, which they do more efficiently than land plants. Pigments are used for photosynthesis and are produced in a range of colours. The main categories are chlorophylls, which are green, carotenoids, which are red, orange or yellow, and phycobilly proteins, which are blue, red or pink. Each pigment absorbs light at different wavelengths. The colour we see is the colour that the algae reflect back, which is opposite on the colour wheel to the colour being absorbed. For example, phycocyanin appears blue because it reflects blue light, whilst orange wavelengths are being absorbed. We can isolate algae from nature and cultivate them for their pigments and other valuable components. They can be grown in the lab and up to commercial scale in photobioreactors which can contain thousands of litres of algal culture. Photobioreactors allow control and monitoring of conditions such as light intensity and colour, pH and temperature, allowing us to improve the concentrations of pigments within the cells, which can then be extracted. Phycocyanin and phycoerythrin are two phycobilly proteins that have a high market value and are found in three phylums, cyanobacteria, rhodophytes and cryptophytes. Algal biomass is commonly freeze-dried to break the cells open. It's easy to extract phycobilly proteins due to their solubility. Adding water or phosphate buffer to freeze-dried cells allows us to obtain these pigments which also fluoresce under UV light. The blue colour of phycocyanin is used as a colourant in Smarties, juices and smoothies. Phycoerythrin is red or pink and has high value because of its fluorescence properties which are used in clinical and immunological analysis. Chlorophyll and carotenoids are not soluble and therefore must be extracted using solvents such as DMSO or acetone. Carotenoids such as astaxanthin, beta carotene and lutein are very valuable because they can be used for cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, colorants and fish feed. Once extracted, the quantities of algal pigments can be measured using a spectrophotometer and specific equations, or further detailed analysis of the molecules can take place using instruments such as high-performance liquid chromatography. Production of synthetic pigments is currently much cheaper, but natural pigments are superior to synthetic forms due to higher antioxidant capacities and increased digestibility and health benefits. The algal pigment industry has the potential to create revenue whilst having environmental benefits such as carbon capture and bioremediation. Algal pigments are found everywhere, so look out for them in your day-to-day -day products.